No surprise that Corpus Christi, being a very warm weather city, has a very large homeless population. And the various organizations who deal with the problem have just taken a major step to curtail the situation. And our Dr. Brad Hoffman is here live to explain. Well, let's face it, we're probably never going to end the homeless population here in Corpus Christi, but there is a program that has been successful nationwide. Various agencies that work with a homeless population met today at the Salvation Army to roll out a new program called Coordinated Entry. It's a big step towards eradicating homelessness in, this, in the Coastal Bend area. The plan is simple and based on an existing program that's used in other cities nationwide. Instead of people showing up and possibly staying for days in various shelters, they are interviewed and then referred to a shelter that deals with their individual circumstance. For example, if someone is struggling for a drug and alcohol uh, addiction, the Salvation Army here is not the location that deals with that. Charlie's Place or one of the other uh, institutions would be better. And studies showed that the Salvation Army was the best place to coordinate this. Leticia Canmore from the city of Corpus Christi says an organized system like this makes a lot of sense. Uh, with the Salvation Army taking the lead, it's great. It's going to centralize homeless services and so where the referrals are going to be more bottlenecked and more streamlined, which is the entire intent. And Mark Kaysen, who works with the area's veterans, agrees. To me, the veteran homelessness in Corpus Christi is very, very high. And we need to do a lot more with our resources working together to make sure we have less homeless veterans. So the beautiful thing is once we enter them into the system, they'll get that information and we'll be able to make the referral really quickly and share resources and information so much better than we have over the last 10 years. Now the program was launched today and will probably take a little time to streamline, but it could prove to be the first major step to cur cur curtail homelessness here in the Coastal Bend. Dr. Brad Hoffman, Action 10 News.